ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇಧಸಿ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಪತಯೇ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಾಲಕಾಂಡ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಆಫ್ ಕುಶನಾಭ ಟು ರಾಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಡಾಟರ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಆನ್ ಹೂಮ್ the wind god vayu had put his sexual thought and he desired them sexually however those hundred daughters rejected his proposal and they told that only their father will decide their husband and like what they say krishnaba finally decides to give his daughters in marriage to the king brahmadatta of kampilya and thereby the marriage was solemnized and wind god who cursed and deformed those hundred women that brought their celestial body back on marrying to brahmadatta and in the same story there is a continuation because this king kushanabha also happens to be the grandfather of sage vishwamitra o rama after the wedding of his daughters the sinless king kushanabha prepared to perform a sacrifice in order to obtain a son At the inauguration of the sacrifice the munificent king kusha who is the father of kushanabha son of shri brahma said to kushanabha his son oh my son you will obtain a son like yourself he should be named gadhi he will bring the bring you immortal renown after some time a son was born to the wise king kushanabha he was be who was a lover of virtue and his name was gadhi this gadhi rama was my virtuous father and because i was born in the family of kusha i was also called kaushika i had o prince an elder sister named satyavati who became the faithful spouse of ruchika ruchika when her lord died she ascended to heaven and took the form of the kaushiki river the river is sacred and beautiful and its waters confer merit on men to bless the world satyavati became the river flowing near the himalayas o prince through love of my sister i dwell on the banks of the kushiki river near the himalayas established in truth faithful to her lord that sister of mine named satyavati is today in the river kushiki great among streams and highly fortunate o rama in order to perform the sacrifice i went down to the siddhashrama i have now accomplished my purpose o rama at your instance i have told these told you of my family and origin the night is far spent in listening to this tale now rest yourself so that refreshed we may resume our journey tomorrow peace be with you the leaves of the trees are now motionless the birds and bees are silent and darkness is covering everywhere how oh, impossibility the evening has passed away the sky is brilliant with stars as if a thousand eyes gaze down on us the bright moon with its cool beams slowly rising higher and higher dispels the great darkness nocturnal one wanderers and the terrible flesh eating yakshas prowl about here and there having uttered these words the great sage vishwamitra became silent the other munis praised him saying well spoken well spoken o sage they said the dynasty of kusha has ever practiced righteousness and the kings of this line have been eminent in virtue 
of this dynasty you o vishwamitra are the most illustrious the fame of this royal line has been enhanced by the beautiful river kaushiki thus did the sages prize the rishi vishwamitra who then withdrew to rest as the sun sets behind a mountain sri ramachandra and his younger brother lakshmana full of wonder also made obeisance to the holy sage and retired to sleep thus ended chapter 34 of the balakanda in ramayana namaste sharada devi kashmira puravasini tvamaham prarthaye nityam vidyadanancha dehime goodbye